My name is Kyla Crawford, and this is how I make my dream yarn. So here I'm drawing symbols that I created for things that I wish, like hopes and dreams. And I also draw these creatures that I will have moments of misunderstanding where for a millisecond I'll see something obscured and think, oh, that would be cool if this, like, um, creature existed, like a creature to hold up a chimney. And it was a missing structure. So to create these creatures, <laughs> I paint them onto paper or these symbols and then destroy them by cutting them up and making them into yarn. And yarn is full of potential. It, throughout history, uh, spinners and weavers have been mythological um, magicians in creation because they create material that protects us or has an abundance of different functions that from just raw materials like fluff, found fluff from an animal or a plant will be twisted into yarn and then intertwined with each other to create fabric. So in Japan, where paper has had a longer history and a different material of paper was made where it's a very strong paper with long fibers in it, it was reused and made into yarn to create very strong and yet comfortable fabrics. So taking the idea of that technique and some of the direct techniques from Shifu, paper spinning, Japanese paper spinning, I've created my own technique that works really well for me. Here I'm cutting the drawing into strips, destroying it to remake it into the yarn. So these strips will become a continuous thread or strand that um, I will rough up, knead and crinkle, and then spritz with water. So here, after crinkling, spritzing it with water, it is now time to twist it into yarn. And to do that, I'm using a spinning wheel. So that is my ball of paper that is damp. And now the spinning wheel is adding twist into it to create a whole ton of strength. So this process is of destroying and then recreating into a strong thread 
full of potential, potential of the hopes and wishes of myself and others, and the potential for this to be made into other things. I like to just look at it as balls of yarn and enjoy the idea of potential and what all of it can be.